it's almost time. If you would, please take cover over there and wait for your cue. Understood. Well, well. It's good to see you again, Ms. President. Or should I say, Ms. Former President. With Rin performing just across the way, I take it you two are in on this together? I wouldn't be surprised if you're the one who sent her after me, since you seem to be such good friends now. Oh no, nothing of the sort. Rin didn't trust me either at first. Oh, I see. At any rate, I'm certain you have a mountain of work waiting for you, so I'll get right to the point. I want you to sever your ties with the organization. Bringing Synthesters into the business arena is, well, nothing short of reckless endangerment, to put it kindly. So, that's your angle then. I'll be sure to take your recommendation under serious advisement. Though it's unlikely anyone will give it any real consideration. You are, after all, no longer the CEO of our company. You're not associated with us at all anymore, in fact. And I don't recall us ever taking advice on company policy from the general public before. I suppose not. Well, if I'm nothing more than a member of the general public in your eyes now, why not simply let me live my life in peace? Hmm. If we do that, what guarantee do we have that you won't go spreading baseless rumors about us? Mm -hmm. As soon as this little show is over, I'd like you and Rin to come with me. Oh? Kidnapping and confinement are both rather serious crimes, you know. It'd be completely voluntary, I assure you. And you have my personal guarantee that you'll be treated with all due respect. Though, if you happen to decline, I will have to give my associates a chance to persuade you. <laughs> so... You're asking nicely, but we either go quietly or kicking and screaming. We always used to say you didn't have the spine to be a director, but it seems you've grown one after all. Hmm. All right, then. Take this woman to the location we discussed. Yes, sir. Stay your hands, knaves. Ms. Kasugai is under our protection. Prepare to be freedomized by the Akiba Freedom Fighters! So, you brought backup after all. Well, no matter. Take them all down! Let's go! Get it up! Get it up! Get it up! 
I'm opposed to violence. Just as I thought. You can't possibly have any say in all this shady business. Too much heavy lifting for a lackey like you. Sh shady? What nerve? I'll have you know the synthesis somatic cells display properties that could be used to treat otherwise incurable illnesses and, um, well, suffice it to say, my research could save countless lives. Furthering medical science is a valiant goal indeed. But you never truly cared about that, did you? You only wanted fame and fortune, no matter what you had to do to achieve it. You were studying them too? Are you going to stand there and tell me you weren't planning on profiting from them yourself? I'll tell you more than that. I only studied them because I wanted to know more about them. Pure intellectual curiosity. And I would never, ever sacrifice other people to satisfy that curiosity. That's unconscionable. Besides which, I'm a member of the Akiba Freedom Fighters now. My first priority is to protect this town. Research comes later. Damn it, this isn't over! You haven't won, you hear me? I've, I've still got the organization behind me 100%! Behind you? Oh dear. I certainly hope you weren't counting on that. Soga! Mr. Kagatsuki, sir! Please, I beg of you, save me! You're a disgrace. Get your filthy hands off of me. Uh. I no longer have any use for the likes of you. Oh, wait! No! Uh. Think of all the funding we've provided! We, we gave you your base of operations! And we proposed the plan to give the synthesis performance enhancers. Well, I proposed that plan! Me! And what has it achieved? What did I instruct you to do? You had one job. To remove our only obstacles. And you failed. <sighs> the final preparations have been completed. Be gone. Get out of my sight. <laughs> Okay, now you listen here. Why are you causing problems for Akiba, and why did you create the Synthesters? Spill it! The Synthesters are merely the groundwork for a much larger plan. My ultimate goal is the town itself. I intend to turn Akiba into a perfect, dark utopia. The hell does that mean? I've been using the Synthesters all this time to gather life energy so I can create that dark utopia and turn Akihabara itself into a machine that gathers even more. Once I've done that, I'll be able to gather life energy from all over Japan. Nay, from all over the world. And then the Night Eaters will finally take their rightful place. Our people will rise from the brink of extinction to the heights of glory. All right, stop with the high and mighty crap. You have no right to do any of this. Bark at me or sing my praises, it no longer matters. The plan has already been set in motion. The excessive greed, the stagnation of modernity. These have already begun draining from the hearts of each and every man, woman, and child in the area. What do you suppose that means for one like him, who dwells on the boundary between Synthester and Night Eater. His very existence destabilized. His strength will fade and flee. Hey, are you all right? I'm impressed he lasted as long as he did, to be frank. Come on, this is no time to be messing around. Get up, damn it. Are you okay? Please tell me you're okay! Pull yourself together! He can barely even speak. He is hardly a threat to my dark utopia now. I bid you adieu. May we never meet again. He's gone? All we wanted to do was lure out Sakaguchi. 
Now here we are with more than we bargained for. Yeah, but a dark utopia? The hell is wrong with that dude? Can you walk? I suggest we fall back to Mogra. Would you lend him a shoulder as well, Toko? Sure. Here. Can you stand? There we go. <clears throat> nice and easy. That's it. Now don't you worry. We'll... We'll get you feeling better in no time. His fever. It's still not breaking. So much for standard medicine. What could have brought this on? If his condition was deteriorating this much, why didn't he say anything about it? <laughs> Brother, hang in there. This is terrible. His pep was his only redeeming feature. It'll be okay. He'll get better soon. I know he will. <laughs> you were just pushing yourself too hard. It wasn't just him. We all kept on pushing him. Put all our faith in him like he was some kind of RPG hero or something. Expected the world of the poor boy. Synthester, Night Eater, whatever he is now. At some point, we all forgot he's just a regular high school kid, too. What he is is an idiot. A colossal freaking idiot. Letting himself get beat down like a lowly minion. <sighs> S something terrible is happening! People are collapsing one after the other all around Akihabara Station! Wait, what? I don't know the reason. People are just falling down when they get near the station. Even the police officers investigating are affected. Confirmed. Pitter is lighting up with reports of it. It's all anyone's talking about right now. You don't think. Soga's dark utopia. That crazy plan of his is actually happening? The people who've collapsed are being drained of their life energy. But why Akihabara Station? There's nothing particularly notable about that area. If only we knew where their hideout was, we could bust in there and beat some sense into that jackass. Their hideout? Of course! That could be it! That could be the place! You figured out where they're hiding? When we were studying the pattern of attacks before, I thought it seemed like the circle was a little off-center from Akihabara Station. So where the hell is it already? Just southwest of there. The construction site for the new Radio Kaikon building. <sighs> the Radio Kaikon building? But how do you... Now that you mention it, the building's all tarped up and there aren't a lot of people who've seen what's inside. Worth a look, that's for sure. I can feel it too. I can feel the radio waves cutting through me. I'll go. This needs to be looked into right away. I'm going too. I'd like to accompany you as well. Don't forget me! No, I have to go without you. If what people are saying is true, ordinary humans can't get anywhere near the station, remember? That's why it's just gonna be me and Sis. You got that? Rin, I want you to keep watch here. We have no idea what's going to happen from here on out. If worse comes to worst, I need you safe so you can help put things back in order. B but Sis... Listen, you're not going out there without any backup. Broke down. You shouldn't be up. Come on, what do you think you're doing? There are like newborn deer that walk better than you can right now. I can't take you with me. There's no way you can fight in your condition. I understand where you're coming from, I really do. But if you go out there, you're just going to get yourself killed. You should know more than anyone just how bad a shape you're in right now. <sighs> Mind over matter, will over body. You are prepared for what awaits us out there, aren't you? <sighs> Brother, all right, let's do it then. Let's put an end to this once and for all, while you're still able to move. What the? Uh, look out! Ah! 
Is this it? Is this the nest of the rats who oppose Lord Kagetsuki? Synthesters. Damn it! In here? Kati, take the sister and hide in the back room. Oh, okay. Please, stay calm and come with me. What are you standing around for? If you're going, go already. We'll handle the fighting. You and Shizuku need to get to the Radio Kaikon site on the double. Hiya! Barf! Whoa! Holy crap! Pops, you're way stronger than you look. Yes, if only we'd known that sooner, you could have joined the battle party. Nah, the old guard's supposed to train the heroes, not show them up. Come on, you know how it works. Damn! All right, have it your way. Don't you dare underestimate me just because I'm a woman. Yeah. Sight! Ah! Sis, leave these jerks to me. You two need to go. And you better come back safely. No injuries allowed. Don't worry about us. We'll be okay. I, well, let's just say I've got a few tricks up my sleeve. Tricks? Just go. Seriously. Go. Go and become a part of Akiba Legend. Good luck. Frozen one, I believe in you. This dark mist. Something definitely isn't right here. I can feel Soga's presence, albeit faintly. That building is the source of the turmoil these people are going through. The direct cause of their suffering should be within. If we eliminate the source, we eliminate the problem. But we need to hurry. We have to find the man responsible for this dark utopia and strike him down. Not one step farther. Your journey ends here. You're too late anyway. Lord Kagutsuki's glorious plan has already entered its final phase. This town is to become a paradise for us. We're going to have to fight our way through. I've got your back. Please! 
against all of us at once. We're gonna stop these little roaches right here and now. <laughs> Are you ready for what's in store? This is what you get for playing hero. Time for a whole new Akiba legend. Incoming! Yeah! Barf! You got one hit KO'd by an idol singer? Demons! Damn, they've got a ringer! Make that two ringers! Chia! Rin? Toko? Sorry I'm late. Got a little held up cleaning house back at Mogra. But... Toko? How? Ordinary humans shouldn't even be conscious here. <laughs> I, um... I kind of gave up being human. <gasps> Toko became my familiar. She performed the blood contract with me just now. Don't tell me that was the trick of your sleeve. Well, um... Look, it's not like I did this on a whim, okay? I've been thinking about it for a while now. I've been trying to figure out what I could do to help everyone. To save everyone. To sacrifice your own humanity? That's going a bit too far, don't you think? No, not at all. I mean, if we lose this fight, there won't be anything left to fight for. All the people I know and love here, their happiness will just disappear. And that would be a much worse fate than death as far as I'm concerned. Sis, I made sure before I did it that Toko was completely serious. And... Well, what's done is done. The contract's sealed. She and I are bound now. Toko, do you... Whatever the consequences may be, I'm fine with them. Because in the end, no matter what happens, I'll be able to walk the streets of Akiba with you at my side. Besides, not much use being a normal girl in Akiba if there's no Akiba left, right? Toko. Huh? Sis, you're hurt! Uh, yes, that must have happened just now. Uh, who stuffed up this beautiful leg? It's a national treasure! 
treasure, you know. No one vandalizes art like this and gets away with it. Oh, that's it. I've had enough of this. It's punishment time. The numbers don't lie. We still have the upper hand. Let's get them. I'll handle things here. I'm going to keep them busy and make sure Sis doesn't get any more hurt than she already is. It's up to you to take Togo and find Big Brother. And stop his stupid plan in the name of the Akiba Freedom Fighters. We'll do our best. Be careful, you two. You've got a noble soul, Toko Sagisaka. I'm proud to have you for a familiar. Go kick some ass. I believe in you. Top floor, this must be the place. How the hell did they get this thing up here? This must be the source. Ugh. Hey, don't worry about me. I've got no regrets. I'm strong enough now to look after everything I love. That's what's most important, right? I've been holding you back this whole time. But not anymore. Now I can finally keep up. We can split the burden. No matter what's ahead for us, sad or happy or horrible, we can share it 50-50, like we always have. That's really why I did this, to be your equal again. Dude, you don't have to get all serious like that. You're making me blush. Well, well. I'm impressed you made it this far. And I must say, I'm surprised as well. I was expecting Shizuku and Ren. Good! Be surprised! And call off this miserable excuse for a world domination plan while you're at it! And that's not a request. Do it, or we'll make you do it! An admirable attitude. But I'm afraid you're already too late. This device, you see ensures the continued survival of the Night Eater clan in perpetuity. Think of it like Noah's Ark. The output still needs some fine-tuning, but once we find just the right glorious frequency, all who come to Akihabara will find themselves drained of their energy before they even know what hit them. One gentle tug on each mortal body and all those lifetimes worth of energy will be ours. No! Don't you realize it's going to turn Akiba into a ghost town? Akiba a ghost town? I find that highly unlikely. As the greed and the passion are sucked from the marrow of its people, the town will swell with its majesty. Few will be able to avert their gaze. As opposed to now, huh? Akiba's not enticing enough as it is. No, no. You misunderstand me. I don't seek to destroy what this town represents. Rather, I find it all quite exquisite. Those who wander its streets are filled with a greed so pure and mighty that its power is akin to a monk's religious convictions. That's why this became the nexus for my master plan. No other town in the world could nourish my people so well. Spare me your bad guy spiel. Your noble goals couldn't be any more selfish. There are good people here. You think any of them want you messing with their lives like this? But all I seek to do is gather their surplus energy. Energy they neither use nor need. And provide it to those who need it the most. If you were in my place, would you honestly be content to sit idly by while your entire race is slowly dying? Of course not, but that's not what I'm saying. Here, I'll make it really clear for you. Listen closely, okay? Don't cause problems for other people. Seriously, we learned that in freaking elementary school. I can see I'm not getting through to you. What about you, boy? 
For what reason do you fight? Why have you gotten yourself mixed up in this absurd, foolish war? You have no chance of winning. And what would that be? And you would do anything for that, even if it means condemning my people to death? Is that truly what you feel deep down? I suspect there may be a few chinks in your armor, little boy. Yeah, maybe he has a few doubts, but that's what I'm here for to put those doubts to bed. You're not alone here. You don't have to take this all in yourself. I'm right here by your side. Sadly for you, it seems he took your little speech to heart. So I suppose I have no choice left but to eliminate you both. The last pesky vermin in the way of my dark utopia. Which will it be, I wonder? The strength of your will, or the strength of my destiny? Let us put them both to the test. Let's take a down. <laughs> I never meant to take you lightly, but perhaps I underestimated how quickly you've grown. Very well then. If this is to be the trial my people must overcome, then by my hand it shall be overcome. Ha! How does he still have that much power? This isn't good. Hurting him just made him stronger. How does that even work? I don't know if we can win this. You're right. We've been together our whole lives. All right. Let's tap out whatever reserves we've got left and beat his ass with friendship. I'm Toko the Ever-Living, confident to the end. But thanks for giving me the push I needed to remember that. Now come on, let's beat the baddie. Let's take him down. Yeah, 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 yeah. Oh, yeah. Do this! Okay! Oh, no. 
How do you like me now? <laughs> no, this can't be. For the Night Eater's last hope to be extinguished by the familiars of two Night Eaters. Such an ironic conclusion. Our future, the bright future I saw for us, will never come to pass. Why not? It still could. There has to be another way to save your people without resorting to this. To save both our peoples. Yeah, that's exactly right. You could have learned a lot from Shizuku and Rin. They've had the right idea all along. I see. <gasps> but this world is nowhere near as simple as you make it out to be. One cannot always trust others with all one's heart, nor put faith in the words of a stranger. Man can only depend on himself. That's not true. The world may be nuts, but as long as we go into it with ideals in our hearts and work toward making those ideals a reality, anything is possible. It's a hell of a lot better than just assuming it won't work and coming up with some evil scheme to get results, at the very least. Huh. <laughs> you too so very pure, just like the atmosphere of this town. I suppose this will be our last meeting. Farewell, children of Akihabara. It's over, huh? Oh, how are you feeling? So this machine really is what was causing it. Stirring up the synthester blood inside you was pretty much just bad news all around, I guess. I mean, now that it's over, it almost doesn't feel real. I'm like in the clouds right now, but I'm just going to chalk that up to being high on, I don't know, heroism or something. We really did save everybody, huh? We saved Akiba, like all of it. People on the streets are going to be smiling again. I can hardly believe it. It's like a dream. It's like a beautiful, wonderful dream. Hard to believe it's been a whole week since that dark utopia mess. Time passed so quickly. Doesn't it strike you as kind of weird? I mean, we're talking about this huge incident with all these people involved, but the news has already just forgotten about it. Like there hasn't been a peep lately. Well, to be fair, they can only repeat cause still unknown so many times, can't they? Beyond that, it seems no one has anything left to say. Not even Daishihan Pharmaceuticals? You'd think they'd be taking some heat for this at least. Maybe they are, but that's not my problem anymore now, is it? Eh, don't matter none to me anyway. Everything's wrapped up and back to normal, and that's good enough in my book. Don't seem like nobody died in the whole Synthester hullabaloo, neither. At least, I ain't heard about it if anybody did. Tons of people hospitalized after getting their energy sucked out, though. Supposedly, all the Synthesters who burned up in the sun turned back into humans and were found collapsed on the street, believe it or not. 
They're in tremendous pain and have to go through rehabilitation before they can rejoin society at large, but, well, that's the price you pay, I suppose. As long as Protector is good, that's all that matters. So everything's more or less okay in Akiba. But what about you Night Eaters? Our people used to be worshipped as Earth deities, feeding off the piety of our loyal subjects. But these days, the nights have grown a bit less dark, and nature has become a bit less threatening. Our hearts used to beat to the people's prayers, but now those prayers are silent, and our powers fade. Is it that lack of piety that's keeping you from having children? Is there just not enough life energy for the task? Is that why you're dying out? Soga thought he could take the desires of Akiba's people and harness them into a new kind of piety to replace what we had before. And he was doing it for us, all of the Night Eaters, myself and Rin as well. He was doing it to give us a future. <laughs> to give your whole race a future. I think I would have gone to those extremes for my brother too, if I had to. Because if anything ever happened to him, it would be troubling. Very troubling indeed. But since his dark utopia plan failed, doesn't that mean you guys are back to square one? I don't intend to give up on my people. Somewhere out there. I know there's a better way to build a new future. One that will have plenty of room in it for us Night Eaters. Just as you all made room in your hearts for us. Yeah, Sis is right on the money. You guys have been great. Well, it's easy to be great with you two. I can't imagine any reason we wouldn't accept you into our hearts. Thank you all for everything. I can't believe you're really going. I never know what to say in situations like this. If you should ever have any trouble, please don't hesitate to contact us. We'll be here for you. Let's watch Strip Prism SDX next time! I'll leave the upstairs room just the way it is, in case you ever want to come back. Oh, sis, you know I'm not great with goodbyes. But I'll come visit for the Obon Festival, and for New Year's. We'll see you off here, but he is going to carry your bags to the station for you. You can work him to the bone if you have to. He is your familiar after all. Thank you again, everyone. The days I spent here with you will always be at the forefront of my memories. I promise, I'll never forget any of you. I truly appreciate everything you've done for me. Farewell. <sighs> She's really gone. I wish she would have stayed in Akiba with you, Rin. Well, we can't exactly avoid our home village forever, especially with Big Brother gone. It just wouldn't be right. Besides which, Sis is going to be taking his place as chief. Oh, so I guess the future of the Night Eaters really does rest on her shoulders then. I offered to go back with her, but she told me not to. She even decided to leave her minion behind. Talk about self-restraint, right? So, what are your plans now, Rin? Well, I'm staying in Akiba, at least for a little while. That's the official home of the great pop artist Rin, after all. So does that mean I should be the great pop artist Rin's manager? Huh? Why would it? Well, I'm your familiar, aren't I? Oh, <laughs> yeah, that's not in a familiar's job description. Besides, if I have any problems or grunt work, I've got him for that. Hmm? I could have sworn I heard a minion mumbling just now. Whatever. Incidentally, Toko, just because you're my familiar doesn't make you a minion. So don't think you have to act like one. Neither of us is the master here, or the servant. In fact, I actually really respect what you did. You threw away your humanity to save this town. That shows some real dedication. 
No. I think I was pretty much running on autopilot. There was so much going on that I just did what I did without thinking. Selflessly trudging onward through the Valley of Thorns, never balking at the pain, just to protect someone who's dear to you. You two have that in common, don't you think? Shush! I'm heaping praise on you, all wrapped up and candy boated. Just take it and be grateful I'm not scolding you again. I... I think you mean candy coated. Cotty rubbing off on you or something? Uh, never mind. My point is, you don't have to worry about me. It's your life, and wherever it takes you, I'll support you all the way. Though, if I ever do end up needing your power again, I might call on you as my familiar to loan me some of that surplus bravery you've got. No problem. Call on me anytime you like. I'll be ready. This is goodbye for now, then. Best wishes. I hope to see you on the road sometime. So Rin's gone too, huh? I guess we should go back to Mogra and talk about what to do from here on out with everybody. We went through a lot to protect this town. And I'd really like to keep working toward making it an even better place. <laughs>